Today, we're gonna to go over the new webinar specific date booking feature that High Level just rolled out. And we're gonna walk through the full calendar setup along with the reminders and where you wanna put it inside your funnel. So stay tuned and build along with us. Awesome, so let's just jump right into it. We're gonna go in and we're gonna go over to calendars and inside of calendars, we're gonna to go to calendar settings. Now, I wanna be very specific that I have general appointment reminders that go out and I'm gonna make some modifications so these new reminders that are gonna be very specific to certain events are gonna look different and feel different so then it doesn't kinda of complicate the process I already have in now. But the first thing I'm gonna do is actually create the calendar. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna create groups. I'm actually gonna label uh, a group and I'm gonna put it in as a webinar, right? So this is gonna be webinar and this is gonna be uh, automations webinar. And you can name it something that um, you know people would you know, are gonna see or whatever else. Remember the customer will see this. So we wanna make sure that we have, um, you know, something that makes a little bit sense. You can put like coaching, uh, you can put, um, you know, live events, you can put your uh, monthly webinar and your company name in there. For now, I'm just gonna label like this just to make it super simple, but just to, it's a really good idea is just make sure you name it because the group description, sometimes the customer will see, and you're gonna wanna make sure that it has something that the customer is gonna relate to, right? Uh, here, I'm just gonna put a simple automations uh, webinar. All right, has the calendar URL slug. And I'm not going to use that slug because usually nine times out of 10, I create, I put all my calendars on a page. I don't like to have a floating calendar using a random link. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. Now that I've created the group, the webinar group, I'm going to go ahead and create a calendar. Now I like to still use the round robin calendars just because it gives me a little bit more features and it pulls the information of my zoom and custom links and all that. So I'm going to do a round robin. You can do a single calendar. I just find these to be better and easier to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and select me because I'm only gonna be the person doing it. Now, for instance, if you are running a webinar or office hours or any kind of coaching event that is gonna uh, you know, have several people kind of come in and, and go and so forth and so on, we would go ahead and add multiple people in there. So for instance, if one office hours is with me, but another office hours is with my partner, you'll be able to do round robin with that. Now, as you can see, I just put myself in for this one because I might add somebody uh, later on. Uh, that's perfectly fine, but I put myself and I was able to pull in my Zoom meeting and so forth and so on. So here, I'm going to call it um, the one that's uh, Unlock the Secrets. That's my webinar title. All right, obviously go back and do a little spell check for anybody that's been following me along for all this time. You know that I can't spell for the life of me. All right. And yours could be building out, whatever. It doesn't matter. Again, we're just going to do something easy that people can see on the, on the calendar and, you know, not have any questions. And then I'm going over here. And then I'm just gonna say automations again, make it super easy, all right? Nice to remember. And then unlock the secrets of automation. So then they know what they're signing up for. I do all these things because believe it or not, people have a lot of questions uh, and sometimes they just don't get it. And I usually tend to also copy my webinar link um, throughout this. So you could put the webinar link right through here in the description, shows, shows up at the bottom, or you can put it directly here. Again, the more places you add it, the better it is, just so people don't have any confusion. And for webinars, I am definitely gonna pick like a different color, like yellow, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and continue. Now in here, it's obviously gonna be two hours long, so I'm gonna go ahead and do two hours, and I'm just gonna match this to two hours. Uh, I'm not gonna have a minimum scheduling notice because I want people signing up until the possible last moment for the webinar. And the most important thing right here is I'm gonna select custom. Now notice that this whole screen changed because now uh, I'm going to be focused on only these webinar dates. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna add a date and my webinar, let's say is gonna be, um, well, we're gonna move it probably out and it's gonna be Tuesday from the hours of 12 p.m. to let's say 3 p.m. And then I'm gonna add another date where it's gonna be the Thursday and it's gonna be a little bit later. So let's do April 20th. Oh, I don't know why I didn't select 20th. There we go. And then come in here and I'm gonna go ahead and do this from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Perfect, again, just checking the time, making sure it all makes sense. All right, and actually this should just be two hours, so let's just go and move it over to 2 p.m. Perfect, my times are set, four to six and 12, and I have my two dates, Tuesday and Thursday for my different webinars, 
and everything else is good, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I go over to the next confirmation. Now, if you wanted to have a form they fill out prior or you wanted to make this a paid webinar, um, you could do it when they pay, when they make the calendar appointment. I'm actually gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna put it in a funnel. So I want them to pay and then get access to this calendar. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. But if you wanted to do it that way, all you would have to do is put in a payment. Let's make believe it's uh, $47 for your webinar. You can come in here and you can put whatever date you want. And then just, you know, obviously this is gonna be the secrets. Cool, have it live. I always like to get an acknowledgement that somebody signed up. But again, we're gonna let the calendar reminders do this. Um, the canceling rescheduling link for this particular one, uh, there is no rescheduling. Um, well, let's just get rid of the cancel link because they can always reschedule to the next webinar. Okay, cool. That's all said and done. The thank you, uh, it would just be see, see you at the webinar. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit complete. Awesome. And now I'm going to shove it into that group that I created. Come over here. And it's going to be my webinar group. And I'm going to go ahead and, and know because whenever you put it into a group, the, the URL slug, meaning that tiny little path. And let me just show you what I mean. Like kind of like slash. It, it, it's This is called the path. This path will change once you shove it into a group, especially if it's existing on a page or if you're just using the permanent link. We're not going to use the permanent link. And just so you know, it was like, what's a permanent link? You come over here, you copy the permanent link, and then you can actually see this calendar uh, in its most plainest form. I never use this because I always put it into uh, an actual um, screen of sorts. Notice that none of it, none of it's available. It's actually available only in April for the two dates that I have selected. So really important, I had to go back in. I actually had uh, the wrong user selected because I have two different variations and it didn't have any of the calendar events. So obviously a nice checkpoint is if you don't see the calendar events here, that means that you have something blocked on your calendar because you assigned it to yourself. So just go back in and make sure you assign it like you have the open availability for those dates. So good lesson. Glad we caught it. But now you have it here. As you can see, I have my Tuesday and the Thursday and I only have one specific time, which is pretty awesome. And then if I go ahead and book, it follows the regular calendar. I come in here, I put my phone number and then I'm going to go ahead and get the reminders going. Great. Now that we have it all locked in, notice that I already have existing calendars, but when I created my appointment reminders, Inside of here, I did general appointment reminders. But in order not to mess this up, because this is a, these are active calendars, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to put all this into a group. So anytime that the general appointments are all in, under Noodle's calendar, so what I'm going to do is every time somebody books in there, the appointment status, event type is normal, appointment status is confirmed, and in the calendar group, I'm going to put Noodle's calendar. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and save again. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing for my canceled appointments. So same thing here, come in here, in calendar group. Like that, you don't have to go in and make this and rechange all your calendars or all your automations just because now you have this instead. So I'm just gonna come over here, calendar group, in Nuno's calendar, hit save, hit save again. Beautiful, now that's all said and done. And now what I'm gonna do is basically replicate this one because it's a general appointment reminders, right? You're gonna make it nice for uh, everything that you have. Uh, and I'm just gonna put my new number on there. Uh, if anybody that's been watching, I usually do appointment reminders. For anybody that's been watching a long time, you know that I'm big in numbering. So just make sure your number is just so then it's easy to follow. And then I'm gonna come over here in webinar, appointment reminders. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create, come over here, and then instead of Nuno's calendars, I'm now going to do the webinar. So anytime somebody goes in through here, they're going to do uh, the webinar. And then I'm just going to follow the same suite, except this time I would probably modify this. It's like, can't wait to see you on the webinar. You know, has the countdown is happening, you know, generate a little bit of excitement to make sure that they attend and sign up. And now you have this really good way of you know, just one, tracking people and two, getting the reminders and making them very customized. But again, I just took the general appointment reminders. Uh, and if you don't know how to create these, these are super not hard to do. Uh, if you wanted to create one from scratch, let me go ahead and just save this. If I, um, and you want to turn it on, but in this case, this is just an example, so I'm not going to turn it on. Uh, but if you wanted to create this from scratch, you can go right from here, create a workflow, go in and just do the general appointment uh, reminder. You can even do one with a survey and so forth and so on. But you come over here, again, 
all of it's there. Just go in and modify, come in here and then just change that to the calendar group to the webinar, which makes it, you know, again, super easy. So you can literally create these from scratch right from a recipe that's already provided for you. All right, now that that's done, I don't know why this keeps showing up. Now that that's done, let's actually put this calendar into, let's say a particular webinar, right? So, so this is a live page. So what I'm gonna do is on the order confirmation page, right after somebody pays, I would put it on the order confirmation before example sake, I'm just gonna create and clone a page. So I'm gonna go over here after the page I cloned, uh, and this is basically gonna be right after they purchase or right after they sign up. And then when I go there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. As of now I have, do you want to add this as a calendar reminder and everything else? Oh, I think I already had it. So let me change that. It says, thank you. And instead of saying you're now registered, I'm gonna delete that uh, book. Come over here, add the element, go over to the calendar, select the calendar and you know, pick the calendar that I just did for the whole entire webinar. I can now remove this because I don't want any, I don't need to add it. So this whole section, I can actually lose it. Boom, this is good. Everything's all good and now I'm all set, right? Great, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, we built an entire webinar registration. I have it on all the different pages. We built, we put in the calendar, we used appointment calendar uh, reminders for it. And now you can go back and you can customize the, any of those you want. So hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.